kumwambia Bwana mikono yako adhuri ya leo na uweze kumwabudu uweze kumtukuza uweze kumuimindi yeye ni wanjabu yes is an awesome god he's god of wonders he's god who changes not he's god who does amazing things uh, lift your voice and worship him give him your best give him your best uh, give him your best give him thanks uh, to everything that is surrounding your life give him thanks uh, for preserving you for walking with you, for helping you to come this far. Mazata Barabu Shata. We are ungrateful, Lord. We are ungrateful for your grace. We are ungrateful for your goodness. We are ungrateful for your love. We are ungrateful for everything the Lord you've committed yourself to do in our lives. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for blessing us with a blessing that maketh rich and that death no sorrow. Thank you, dear father for healing our lives we are enjoying divine health we are enjoying the renewing power makata zaparabazota repakato zota we thank you for you are frustrated all the devices of the craft somebody thank god thank god for your destiny thank god for your beloved thank god for your family thank god for everything that you are doing that is strength that is strength will be released uh, that's your strength uh, will be renewed uh. Makata zata bakato rapa shata la barabozaya. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. Receive all the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you, la pasata raba. Thank you for this service. We thank you because the arrows that moves by the new day they shall not come near us. The specialists that is trying during the day they will not come near our lives we are preserved for those who dwell in your secret place those who dwell in your secret place oh makazanda they shall abide forever we thank you because you are our preservation you are the one who preserves us he knew he knew we are strong he knew we are more than conquerors he knew we are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this service. I pray that you come through, Lord, and reveal your secrets to us. We need you more than yesterday, Lord. We need you more than last month. We need your wisdom. We need your understanding. We need your knowledge. We refuse to be in the category of people who perish for lack of knowledge. We ask for knowledge. We ask for insight. Let the heavens and powers, Lord, open. And I pray that no one, Lord, who has come here will remain the same. Bless even our online church. Speak to us all and cause your light, Lord, to shine upon our lives and in our paths. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. I say and say amen. I want us to set ourselves ready to receive the word of God. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord bless every one of us in Jesus' name. And let us take our seats in the presence of the Lord. God bless you, Zion Trumpeters, uh, and the Lord doing good. Appreciate them also as they take their seat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bonus, if you are sana, I said praise the Lord. It is my prayer that you are set to receive something from the Lord. I believe you have not come in the house of God intending to go out the same or intending to live here with the same problem. We have come here so that uh, when we encounter him, he is able to deal with every situation. He is able to give us solutions. He is able to heal our lives. He is able to make a way even where there was no way. He is able to open new doors. Are we together? So anytime you encounter God, all what was uh, vexing your life must hint to him, must bow to him. No man has ever encountered God and remained the same. I want us very quickly... Uh, to learn something that will help us this afternoon. And I believe 
the word of God will shed some light in our lives so that even as we walk uh, with God, even as we seek him, we will continue seeking him with understanding in Jesus' mighty name. I want to share on our topic, uh, heeding uh, to the instruction of your victory, heeding to the instructions of your victory or to the instructions of your breakthrough, heeding to the instructions of your breakthrough. I believe every one of us, you are seeking to have victory in every area of your life. Nobody rejoices this when he or she is stuck in life. Are we together? Nobody celebrates him or herself if your life is not making any progress. Nobody rejoices when you begin a business and it collapses on the way. Nobody rejoices when you begin a career that is not making any impact in your life. Nobody wants to pursue anything in this life that will not uh, bring that, that fulfillment. But in life, we have many people who are so, so frustrated because we have many beginners but few finishers. Am I talking to somebody? We have several beginners, but we have a few finishers. Tukona watu wengi ambao uanza mambo. It is like people who go to participate in, in athletics. There are, they, they are so many, but a few of them, a few of them arrive or come to the finishing line. And uh, that is something that uh, is happening in the lives of so many people. So what will help us so that we will come to that place of breakthrough? So that when you begin something, you meet yourself, you have some results. You have some evidences. You begin a business and after five, ten years, this, there is something that you have established. Are we together? You begin a marriage within the next three, five years, at least there is something that you are showing, you are progressing, and you are not there uh, maybe for other reasons, you are there and uh, you are happy and you are enjoying. You start something and you are making a progress. What are the things that we are required to have so that we will meet ourselves in a place where we are making some progress? And now, when we are talking about heeding to the instructions of your breakthrough, whatever you need in, in this life, either in the kingdom of God or in the kingdom of darkness, there are some instructions you have to follow. Even when it comes to nature, even when it comes to nature, if you can't follow some instructions, everything around, around your life, even though the nature is programmed, are we together? You meet yourself disadvantaged. And you meet yourself in a place of confusion. For example, you purpose uh, not to be opening your shop <laughs> during the day. You decide to sleep during the day. And you know the area that you're operating your business, it is not uh, an area that, that is open to 24-hour business. You decide to be selling at night. Will that business make any impact? No. So whatever you do and you do not abide to the rules, you do not abide to the principles that are set, you become a disadvantage or you, it, it, it becomes very hard in your life. Let us visit the book of First Samuel. We'll read a few a portion of scriptures. First book of Samuel, chapter 30, quickly. You'll take us there. The media, you'll take us there. Uh, I'll read verse 1, verse 7 and uh, Verse 8, this is what the Bible says. Now, when David and his men uh, came home to Ziklag on the third day, they found that the Amalekites had made a rain on the, on the south, that is the Negeb, and on Ziklag, and had struck Ziklag and burned it with fire. We can also read verse 2. And then taken the women and all who were there, both great and small, Captive. They killed no one, but carried them off and went on their way. Please note that. Now, let us read verse 7 because of our time. Verse 7. Then David sent to Abiathar the priest, 
Amilek, uh, Ahimelech's son, please bring the ephod here to me. And Abiada brought the ephod to David. The ephod, ephod is the garment of prayer. Praise the Lord. Let us go to verse 8. To verse 8. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you, sh uh, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Oh, take me also to Second Samuel chapter 2, beginning from verse 2. Second Samuel chapter 2, beginning verse 2. We read a few uh, verses there. Then I will bring to us uh, the word of God, the way the Lord has released it in my spirit. So this is what the, the Bible says. Now the days of David drew nigh that... Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm in, uh, in another... In a, let me use this one. I was in the book of Kings. So David went up there. And his two wives also, Ainoam, the Jezreelites, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Carmelite. Quickly, please. And David brought up the men who are with him, every man with his household. So they dealt in the cities of Hebron. Uh -huh. Then the men of Judah came, uh, came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. And they told David, saying, The men of Jabesh Gilead were the ones who buried Saul. We can pause there. We can pause there. Ah. Uh, I've seen that I want us to capture something that will help us to step into levels that the Lord has put ahead of us. I want to remind us that you are not supposed to remain the way you are for long. Where you are, there is a duration that you are supposed to be there. There is a duration that you are supposed to go through crisis, to go through drought, to go through lack, but you're not supposed to be there forever. Am I talking to somebody? The will of God is that even though you may have hard times, those hard times after you have been made through them, you are supposed to transit to another level. But what keeps us where we are and breakthrough becomes as if it is something that is very hard to achieve. And breakthrough becomes as if it is something that is very hard to step in. It is our failure to know what we are supposed to do. As long as you don't know what you are supposed to do, you'll never take the right steps of life. As long as you are not aware of what you are supposed to do, you remain in darkness. Hallelujah. Today, maybe it was your day of breakthrough. Today, maybe according to the calendar of God, you are supposed to go somewhere in an office, you present yourself and you get your job. But because you are not aware of what you are supposed to do, you are here and you are telling God to open a door, which he opened. Now, we become casualties of victims of circumstances for failure to hint to the instructions. And number two, there are people who do not know even the instruction itself. I want to tell you, your life is as a result of the instructions that you follow. If you follow the wrong instructions, you will be in a place where you have never dreamt to be. If you follow the right instructions, you arrive to the right destination. 
you are here because you followed the right, the right path. If you never knew here and you wanted to be in our service, even right now you, you'd be somewhere in the town or in the city looking for this place. Am I talking to somebody? Now, the fact that you are going through some problems does not mean that you are supposed to be there all your days. There is a way that God has ordained for you. There is a path that God has ordained for you. There are some men that God has put in place for you. But failure to know where they are, failure to know that door that God has opened, failure to know your next step to undertake, you are still where you are. Are we together? Now, I'm bringing to us something that you need to do to heed to the instructions that will lead to your victory. David, he has been in the wilderness running for his life for many years. Now, in the book of First Samuel, where we have read chapter 30, still David was given a place where he was staying with his team and his and, and his family in this small city called Sigla. I don't want to be tempted to go back because when David came and met the city, was already burnt, he had, he had been in the company of the wrong people. He was, he, was, he was in the company of the Philistines and he was helping Philistines to fight battles. Are we together? Now, but this man, he comes, he goes back to where he was supposed to be and he meets everything has been attacked. Everything has been taken away. Let me tell you, you can be engaged in a season of battle from one battle to another, from one crisis to another, from one misfortune to another, from, a, from one loss to another, from one oppression to another. But I came to tell you what will help you to come out there. It is your ability to hinder to the instructions of God. Are we together? Now David is in pain. His wives has been taken away. Everything has been taken away. If you read in this, in this chapter, they all cried. Even men cried until they had no more tears to shed. But finally they wanted to kill David. Men can follow you and they can decide to kill you on the way. They blamed David for their problems. They were all in problems, but they decided to blame David. I don't know who you are, you are blaming. Ask your neighbor. <laughs> because what upenda kulaumu? Najua siku pata hii kwa sababu siku ana hii. Eh? Ni anko yangu, ni anti yangu, ni ali nisumbua sana ndio siku pita. Mimi mwanzako your excuses are just enough to yourself. Bona asifiwe sana. So we, 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 we like blaming people for our, for our mistakes, for our shortcomings. But let me, let, let me help you today. Instead of wasting your time blaming men, seek to know why are those things happening in your life and tell the Lord, how am I supposed to do so that I can come out of this? There is a way out. I say there is a way out. Even if you are inside the fire, there is a way out. Even if you are in the den of lions, there is a way out. Even if you are in the middle of the wilderness, there is a way out. I came to tell you, there is a way out. Agashi is in the wilderness. Our son is dying. And this poor lady, she is somehow confused. She just left uh, Ishmael and distance because she never wanted to see her only son die. But in that, uh, in that 
very wilderness there was a well i came to tell you even if you are in the wilderness there is a well i said there is a well kuna kisima hata kama uko wapi what you need it is just an instruction and i said what you need it is just an instruction when the lord cried when ishmael cried there was a voice an angel called and that that the angel tells this woman tells her can you look and she was able to trace water why it is the instructions the divine instructions that opens your inner eyes as long as your eyes are blind you never make any progress and before i come to that for you for you to hint to the instructions first of all you must hear from god so you must be a, a person who inquires from god you must be a prayerful person when you pray you will hear god if your problems pushes you away from god then you are done ndio mwenzako shinda zako kama wewe zinakusukuma usiobe why are you not praying i'm down i'm so down you are already dead your problems should push you towards god your crisis of life should push you towards seeking god we have people stay for one one year three months five weeks away from god because they went through a challenge these people are, the devil has already prevailed against them So when during your time of crisis potelea kwa Mungu I came to tell you I don't know what you are what you are dealing with right now but if you have something that is vexing you you have something that that is troubling you go and with and throw yourself before him and cry out for help yeah, I I always tell people when if you don't have materials to tell God come in his house are we together come in his house begin to begin to scream oh i must say lord oh i shall be mercy and god will hear if you are crying from the heart lakini kwa unasema sina hata kitu ya kuambia mungu si ndio kuja upige nduru ndio mwanzako si ndio kuja upige nduru na mungu atasikia lakini watu ndio wamekabwa na shetani you run away from reality now david He is from the battlefield and he meets another battle. And some of us that this is what we don't like. We reach to a point of asking God until when? Until when you you fight what has been apportioned for you. Ndio mwanzako mpaka wakati utamalizana na kile umetengewa. Vita vyako si vyangu na vita vyako si vya. Ambia mwanzako vita vyangu ni tofauti na vyako. Tunaeleanwa ni nani ambaye huenda kwa kwa exam room kwa sababu ume, umekuta <laughs> umekuta swali ya kwanza describe this then you go to question 2 alafu anze kuuliza evangelista why me ama examiner why me because they are not the questions ukataye kufanya utapata zero na nataka kukuambia even the spiritual test ukataye kufanya utapata zero na utarundia ya Mungu hakuna mkato. Are we together? So David is from crisis and he meets a, a, a worse crisis. That is why it is important to pray all your battles even to be con- congested. Zina leto zote unapigana zote mfululizo. Alafu ukitokelezea unachomoka. But to cowards, cowards wanapimiangwa. Ukiwa kimuoga Mungu anakupimia. Maana anajua huna huo uwezo wa kustahimili utakufa bure umkute huko na hataki ukufe inua mkono say lord give me the grace give me the grace to fight my battles in jesus name are we together now the man has come now it happened when david and his men came to ziklag on the on the third day imagine safari ya siku kama tatu on the third day that the amalekites and invaded the south and ziglak attacked zig eh? and ziglak attacked ziglak and burned it with fire verse too quickly yes from crisis to another crisis quickly please 
May the Lord help us. And then taken captive, the women and those who are there from small to great, they did not kill anyone, but, but carried them away and went their way. Quickly, the next verse, so that some of us who do not read their Bible. Then David sent to Abiathar the priest, Amilek, uh, Amilekil's son, please bring the heifer here to me. And Abiathar brought the heifer to David. So the first, the first step to undertake so that you will be able to step into a breakthrough, it is to inquire from the Lord. When things are not working, ask God, what is this? When there is a problem in your life, ask God, what about this? When the marriage is not going on well, when your children, when there are a lot of pressure in your life, go inquire from the Lord. And I will lose a buona, ni nini na endelea, Rebecca, muke wa isaka, wakati alisikia something unusual, in a humba, she was carrying the, the, the children, but she felt what is happening is not normal. She went before the Lord, and she she inquired to know. How many pregnant women go and inquire from the Lord when something unusual is happening? Tasema tu ni mtoto anageuka. Hata akisoma sauti unasema ni mtoto anageuka. Na ujui kuna message mungu anataka upate. Are we together? She went before the Lord. This woman inquired from the Lord. And what was the message? She was told, you are carrying not two children. Not you, ha you have twins. She was told you are carrying two nations. Two nations. And now the, the younger will rule over the elder. And the woman waited for that time. Carrying that secret. So when we inquire from the Lord, we receive instructions. I said when we inquire from the Lord, we receive instructions. Joshua, when he was leading the children of Israel, the time they approached Jericho, Jericho was tightly shut. Why was it shut? It was not shut because of anyone else. It was shut because of the children of Israel. Let me tell you, you are dangerous. There is something that is special about you. And the devil is afraid of it. And if the devil is afraid of you, he will take some steps. And if he will take some steps and you are not aware, hey, you are not aware that the enemy is in it, you will go and approach things in a normal way. And you will be destroyed. So in Joshua, when he understood the magnitude and the steps that the people of Jericho have undertaken, he went before the Lord. Tell your neighbor, please, acha kupigana kimwili, autaweza. Tunalianwa, wacha kupigania doa yako kimwili, autakuwa na tofauti na wale wengine. Are we together? Don't approach anything casually or carnally. So David, I mean Joshua was told Joshua, I have given you Jericho together with the mighty men of, of war and the king of Jericho. But this is what you are supposed to do. Each day you will wake up, go around the city and let all the men go back to the tent. You'll do that for six days. Hallelujah. And the seventh day, you go around the city seven times. The seventh time, blow the trumpet. There is, an, there is an hour, there is a day that has been marked from the heavenly places. That is the day of blowing your trumpet. But if you don't know, that day just misses. That is why the men of Israel, when Jesus visited them, because they were not well informed they were reading the laws they were searching the laws but they had no revelation when jesus visited they were doing no more things in the temple what happened jesus mooned for the city he mooned for them because they were not aware. when your day of visitation comes and you don't have the information of it they even moons you because getting that cycle again, 
It may cost you and destiny. May the Lord help you. I said, may the Lord help us in Jesus' mighty name. So, David inquired from the Lord. May you receive the grace to be inquiring from the Lord. Before you take any action, uh, inquire from the Lord. Before you go to church to visit your uncle, inquire from the Lord. Otherwise, you'll go there and you'll come back mad. Hey. What does it mean? Tell, you, tell somebody, inquire from the Lord. <laughs> May the Lord have mercy on us. So, so David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, The Lord answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail, recover, and recover all. So he went knowing that God is with him. How many of us, you are sure that God is with you? You know what you are doing. You are not sure that God is with you. You are not sure that God is with you. You are Ukijua mungu wako na wewe, hata ukifika katikati ya barabara na njia ikatikie hapo na alisema hapo ndiyo mnapitia hauta ogopa. If you begin something with God and he tells you, go, I won't be with you. Even if darkness comes, you will continue because you know it is God you said. Inquiring from the Lord. And this man did it. He followed them. He pursued them. And as the Lord had said, because he hinted to the instruction, he was able to get the victory. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may you receive the grace to hear from the Lord. I said, may you receive the grace to inquire and to hear from the Lord that from today, your pressure will not go up. That from today, you will not walk your end down because you don't know what to do. I said because you don't know what to do. If you go through something because God is in it, you know it is for his own glory. Tunaleanwa. Ukipitia mambo na unajua haya ni mungu wana mungu wakona mimi. Nilitafuta mungu na wakaniambia nifanye hii. Ata kama ya naonekana ya kona haibu. Auta haibika. Maana unajua muisho wako kutakuwa na utukufu ambao mungu watapokea. Hallelujah. Quickly, because of my time now, take us to the second Samuel. So, number one, key number one, that will help you to arrive to a place of victory. It is your ability to, hear, to, to inquire from the Lord. In other words, you shouldn't be a woman or a man who seek God. And this is Praying, you pray until you hear God. Now, it happened after this that David, now you are still in the wilderness, running away from King Saul, but now King Saul is dead. But this man is not saying, I am anointed. Furthermore, I was the one who was put in place so that I can become the king of Israel. No, he inquires from the Lord. The, the king has died. David has mooned the king. He has cried. He has, he has, he has released even the song to moon the, the, the king. But now in, here, the Bible says, and it happened after this, that David inquired of the Lord saying, shall I go up to any of the cities of Judah? Why do we like to relocate? <laughs> Kisikia leo nataka kuenda muyale, paaa, muyale. Tunaeleano. Unasikia tu kuamuka bila kutafuta mungu. You are doing a certain business, you abandon it, you begin something else. Without inquiring from the Lord. Are we together? There are many people, believers who are displaced. And you cannot manifest when you are divinely displaced. Your strength is in your divine positionment. 
Your victory is released when you are in your place where God has divinely positioned you. David is asking, can I go up to any of the cities of Judah? He is asking God. Now there is no king. There is no king. King Saul is dead. What do we do? What do I do? I know I am the person who is supposed to inherit the throne. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Not all places are your places to get breakthrough. You can go to some places and you will die before your time. That is why even... <laughs> Moving from one estate to another, you need to hear from God. Hey. Pana sifia san. Utaamia kwa nyumba ukiwa umeshikwa na kichaa, na hiyo nyumba mtu alinjiulia hapo. Na wewe unaenda unanyongewa hapo. Maana kuna damu ambayo inaitisha. Unaingiwa na kichaa, unakunja vitu kwa nyumba fulani hata bila kuosha. Jamii inaenda inavunjikia hapo. Or you go, that is the time you lose. And someone dies who was not intended to die. Why? You have gone when that altar is looking for a blood. Tell somebody be careful. Are we together? Not every place is your place to thrive. Not every place is your place for, for your marriage or for your business or for, or for anything that you're doing is meant for you to drive. You need to hear what God is saying and to follow what God is saying. Sometimes the instructions of God are very scary. Sometimes God's leading is very scary. He can lead you in the, in the middle of the sea. But you need to trust him. So, you can take that as a point. Something that will help you. Or hinting to the, to the instruction of your breakthrough. You need to have trust. You need to trust in God. Because failure to trust in God, then you'll be so unfortunate in many things or in many ways. When you trust in God with everything that you're doing, knowing that God is not thinking evil about you, that will, will help you to step into a breakthrough without any limitation. So David is inquiring, can I go to any of the cities of Judah? And the Lord said to him, go up, go up. Praise the Lord. I love this. This man, even before he goes to battles, he was asking God, can I, can I go to the battle? And God will just give him an instruction. When you see the very trees are, are, are shaking and doing ABCD, then attack. So this is what gave David a upper hand against his enemies. So God is telling him, go up. David said, where shall I go up? I love this. But <laughs> super so, it is always good to ask God questions so that you will be sure. And be a ni vizuri kuuliza mungu maswali. Kuna muimbaji ya meimba, ya meimba wimbo. Hata mi nilikuwa na upenda, lakini nilipo pata revelation. Nikuwa nafikia hiyo stanza na achana na hiyo stanza, alafu na imba hizi zingine. Mbana asifio sana. Kuna, so I met my, 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 my daughter, he loves that, she loves that song so much. So you meet her carrying her phone everywhere. Yeah? So another day, last week, this is the time I told her, let me educate you. Even me, I was like you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I told her, it is always good to ask God questions so that you will be sure of what you are doing. That, that singer sings and says that uh, it is only that God is not supposed to be asked questions. She wouldn't have asked her questions. So you might be there. But I want to encourage you. You should always engage God. And you should engage him so that you will be sure of some things that you are doing. Because without his assurance, you make mistakes. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Kama unasikia, say my man. So, mungu anambia, David, go up. David, naya namuliza, where shall I go up? 
Ndiyo umeniambia ni panda juu huko kwa one of the cities. Na yeye Daudi anamuuliza niende gani? Bwana asifiwe. Then God tells him and he said to Abram to Abram I love that Bwana asifiwe and I came to tell you you have a place that God has put in place for you to thrive you have a place and when you arrive there this is the time you step into your blessings this is the time you step into your peace this is the time you step into your joy this is the time you step into your victory so verse 2 let us let us uh, read verse 2 quickly so David went up there, where in Hebron, and his two wives also, Ainoam, the Je- <laughs> Jezreelites, and Abigail, the widow, Nabo, the widow of Nabal, the Carmelite. The problem is this: when you do something and you do it wrong, it haunts your life. David, ma- David killed. I mean, no, 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 no. This is not Bathsheba. This is Abigail. <laughs> Abigail, she is named after, still after Nabal, a husband, because you, you understand in First Samuel chapter number 25 what happened. But this woman, what she did, the wisdom that she carried, gave her a place in the house of the king, and she was married by King David. Praise the Lord. So that is why there is that distinction. <laughs> Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Carmelites. Nabal was a foolish man. He, he, he lost this woman. To the hands of the king because of his foolishness. So David is carrying these two women who are now his wives. Can we go to verse 3? I believe you are getting something. And David brought up the men who are with him. Every man with his household. So they dwelt in the cities of Hebron. This was a place chosen by God for them. And I came to tell you, when you follow the instructions, there is something that the Lord has apportioned for you. There is a place that God has set for you. There is a blessing that God has put in place for you. But if you can't hint to the instructions, then that blessing will remain hanging. That victory will remain hanging. That door that, w- that is supposed to open up for you will remain hanging. But the moment you will follow the instructions, doors begin to open up. I say doors begin to open up. You have heard us testify here severally of one, one of our daughter who is outside this country, when she came, uh, when we were in the Mabat church, she attended a grace hour like this one. I was ministering as I'm ministering. She follows me in the office, and uh, when I looked at her, she had some problems. The way she has graduated, she has good CVs, But no job, no nothing. We had no conversation. But I told her, why are you looking for your job in Kenya and your job is not in Kenya? So she's wondering, (laughs) because she, she, she had never thought of being outside the country. To summarize, she books an appointment that day so that she can meet with a pastor. Fortunately or unfortunately, that day I was not around. And I didn't share with the apostle concerning everything that we talked. But when she came and met her, <laughs> I mean met him, he asked her, why are you looking for your job in Kenya and your job is not in Kenya? She never argued. After that, she went to the cyber, applied for a green card. A few months later, she was called. And her first permanent job, she got it outside this country. Are we together? You might be knocking some doors that are not opening because you don't know where, you don't know your apron. You might be knocking the breakthrough, I mean doors of breakthrough in the marketplace and you are failing because you are not aware where your apron is. You might be doing the wrong career. Are we together? But if you hear from God, 
It doesn't matter what you have been going through. <laughs> it is our ability to hint to the instructions that ushers us to settlement and establishment. You continue in the life of shaking. You continue hanging. You continue being in a place of starting afresh without being able to see the end of what you have started until you come to that place of re receiving instructions. This is what you are supposed to do. This is the type of business that you are supposed to start. This is the kind of a man that I have. Hey, not all men can be your husband. Not all men, even if they are speaking in tongues. Not all. I are we together? You see, we see good people and we admire them. But I want to tell you the truth. Not all of them can fit you. You might be looking at me and say, oh my goodness, this woman is so blessed having that man of God. Yes, I'm blessed. But I tell you the truth. You cannot handle him. Are we together? You can't handle him. You sit with them, you begin the Lord has said. Are we together? <laughs> but because God knew, <laughs> he wired me and he released the grace. So that even before he comes and tells me, the Lord has said already, God has told me I want this done. So when he comes, I will tell him, see, see, the Lord has already spoken it to me. And like in the now now see Yangi Mungu. Women ni kamukafu. Chakula ni January to January. Usingizi ni January to January. No connection with God. That marriage was that. That is why people are amazed. They are wondering somehow, even I'm, I'm sorry to say so, not, not every everywhere, but uh they are they are they are they are men of God genuinely who are in pressure. Because some, some of them, they never fell in the hands of women from God. They fell in the hands of women from Palestine. They fell in the hands of Delilah. So they are there. So unashanga the man of God, Ananet. Because when he goes home, Nambiwa, that God of yours, what has he done? <laughs> One woman of God, she was giving us a testimony. There were challenges in the ministry because uh, she had no much connection with the ministry. Right now, she is full in it. She is employed, paid very well, paid very well. When if I mention where they live in this, this part of the nation, you wonder. So, a time came there were crises. And the husband do not support so much in the family. And one day the woman sits and has a husband. This God of yours, what has he done? And she confronted the man of God. The man of God never answered. But I didn't believe he cried. But before the end of the day, one call, one phone call, the person who called sent 250,000 to the man of God. The other, the other things are history. But immediately, immediately, this woman, she had to confess, I have seen you and God. Are we together? So the moment you begin to hint to the instructions, this is the time God will give you results. No results, no tangible results in your life away from the instructions of God. Anything that you hear from him and you apply it in your life, it will give you results. So David went up to Hebron, and when he went up there, this is the time now God opened men, the elders, they were opened their eyes and they saw there was a vacuum in the land. They came and anointed him as king of Judah. Praise the Lord. David was anointed in Hebron. So the moment you will follow the instructions, this is the time men of influence will be sent your way. This is the time people will begin to 
to open up their eyes and to see the value of what you are carrying. The eyes of men will be shut concerning you. Hey. You may live in the same environment, even with some of your relatives who are blessed, and they'll never be touched to help you. Because you are not following the instructions of God. You can hear somebody school fees. Na na mtu simu. Anamwambia nimekunulia lunch, nimekutumia 20,000. Unashangaa. Na huu ulikuwa unahitaji only 15,000. You wonder. But because God knows if you have not heard from him, if you have not followed instruction, you will never give glory to God. So, <laughs> your ability to heed to the instructions we will always trigger your life to give glory to God. If God sees that you do something in your life and you're not being glorified, you're not being, you're not recognized, it is him who has done it. He will hold it until that time comes. Are we together? So if you hint the instructions, the result is there won't be any ball. I mean there won't be, there won't be evidences, there won't be results, and those results will end too. Glorifying the name of God. Be on your feet. I believe you have captured a uh, few things. One, we have sent for us to hint to the instructions. We are supposed to be men and women who inquire from the Lord. Are we together? So we should be prayerful people. We should be men and women who are always in the closet. You seek to hear from him. What do you want me to do? This season that you have announced, yes, Lord, you have declared that this is the year of increasing my greatness. What am I supposed to do? Apart from what uh, we are hearing in my personal time, in, in my personal level. What are the steps that I'm, I'm supposed to undertake? Yes, before I begin this business, before I continue with what I'm doing, so that even after I am through with my education, I'll not struggle out there. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? You need to hear that. You need to put your trust in God. You need to put your trust in Him. You need to hear from Him so that you'll be able to give Him glory. So that you'll be able to give Him glory. Lift up your hands before him. Uh, pray that the Holy Ghost uh, will rest upon you. That you'll not be in darkness. You'll not do things blindly. You'll not worship blindly. You'll not be in your, in your marriage blindly. You'll not be a mother blindly. You'll not follow things uh, as other people are following. Uh, there is something uh, that is set for you. There is something that you're supposed to do so that God will be glorified. Uh, take few minutes uh, and tell the Lord uh, I am ready. I am ready to heed uh, to the instructions. Uh. I am ready to follow your word to the latter. Here we were taught even yesterday. We were taught uh, some things that we are supposed to do so that we grow and we develop spiritually. That was an instruction given to us. Uh, are you following? Uh, are you reading the word of God? Are you praying uh, without ceasing? Uh, are you having that time with God? Uh, are you seeking him uh, diligently? Those are the instructions given uh, when we come to the house of God. God, we are given instructions. Uh, what do you do with those instructions? Uh, what do you do with those instructions? Uh, without following them, uh, you close your own victory. You close your doors of blessing. You close your doors of breakthrough. You close the doors of your favor when you follow the instructions. Uh, when you hint to them. Uh, when you obey the instructions. Uh, you will get the victory that you are supposed to have in your life, Rabaka Zatalabaha has the Holy Ghost uh, to influence you, to influence you, to obey God, no matter what, uh, no matter the price, uh, be rendered to obey, no matter the cost, uh, be rendered to obey, Rabaka Zatalabakaya, Ripa Zatalabashata, Lepaka Tozata, Rabaka Tariabashaya, help us, oh God, help us to heed uh, to the instructions, uh, help the church. Uh, 
help believers uh, to heed uh, to the instructions. Uh, help your servant uh, to heed uh, to the instructions. Uh, help the career men and women. Uh, help, help them, oh God. Help the professionals. Uh, help the leaders uh, that you have given unto us uh, to heed to the instructions. Uh, help businessmen uh, and business women uh, to heed uh, to the instructions uh, so that they will not be frustrated. Uh, help the young people. Even in their in their academics uh, to obey you, help them uh, even to the relationships uh, to hear you. Somebody pray that from today you not engage yourself to something that is not of God. Uh, promise yourself if God is not there, if God has not instructed you, you not do things blindly. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, refuse uh, to walk in this life perverted. Uh, refuse the life of perversion. Refuse uh, in the name of the Lord. Uh, refuse to do the wrong things uh, and to waste a lot of time uh, in the wrong things. Uh, refuse to follow the wrong way or the wrong route of life. Uh, oh, shalabakata zata. Rapakata labazaya. Some of us, uh, you have become so sensitive. Uh, you have become a follower of the peers. Uh, you have become a follower of what other people are doing out there without inquiring from the Lord. Uh, you are not them. Uh, you belong to another kingdom. Uh, you belong to God. Uh, you must do things in a kingdom way for you to experience uh, the breakthrough that you need to have. Uh, La pakata zota, re pakata la bashaya, el pazo God, el pazo God. Lift up your hands, every one of us. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you because of your word. Today, I purpose to hint to the instructions that you're giving me constantly so that I will step into my breakthrough, so that I will step into the open doors of my destiny so that I'll step into my place of establishment and of settlement. Any other path that I have been following, any wrong route that I have been walking through, today, restore me God. Restore me God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of God, rest upon me and help me and lead me in Jesus' name. Lift up those hands of yours, Father, I pray that you release that anointing of the Holy Ghost. I know the anointing teaches all things and therefore release an anointing upon every child of yours. And Lord, let us be taught by the anointing. Meet with the desires of their hearts that will glorify your name. Heal the sick on God. Open doors for them. Those are in crisis of situations. I pray let them be calmness and let them be a way out from now. I give you glory honor and praise. In Jesus name we pray. Somebody say amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and give him a shout of praise in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may have your seat. God bless you mightily. Our online church, God bless you. Let us meet tomorrow morning and we have grace hours in Jesus mighty name. Amen. From the King's house, we appreciate the Lord. I want us very quickly, because of our time, we give our sacrifice. Tunapo mtolea mungu, tumtolea tukijua ya kwamba pia.